I remain beloved Apostle Bimpe. I thank God for his mercy, his goodness that has endured. Last year, June, I was given six months of life expectancy following my breast cancer diagnosis. But I bless God for his faithfulness that has endured and has given me the grace of living to date. Whether I die or I live, to me, all is the same. Because my living is unto Christ and in death I meet my creator. So the Lord is good all the time. Dying does not make God any less faithful. That I want you to know. However, since my diagnosis, life has taken a different dimension in my thoughts. Now, the strength is limited, but the grace is still so sufficient. Say, blessed is he who considers the poor, the Lord will deliver him in his trouble. The Lord has delivered me in my own trouble. He says, he will not die. Yes, we shall all die one day, but not according to the prediction of doctors, you know, by afflictions in our body. God has been faithful. He also says that he will strengthen us on our sick bed. Is God not doing that in my life? Yes, he has strengthened me. And I pray that as you join hands with us, the Lord that has given strength to me, we also be there for you in your own weaknesses in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, God is faithful and is ever faithful to his words. Whatsoever you do to the least of your brothers, the Bible says you do unto God. Yes, those little, little bits and pieces. I'm not dwelling on self-righteousness, but I want to tell you that little bits and pieces you give unto others. What's more than 100 days of fasting? God bless you. diagnosed of terminal breast cancer is no longer an issue of concern. We bless God for his faithfulness that is enduring to date. And our concern now is... Amina, Baraka, Zainab and many others. Exactly my concern. Look at Omojesu. She was both mad, crippled and blind. But today, she's walking, she can see and she's in sound mind. Not only that, her children that she has deserted since the time she was suffering from mental illness, that she became a destitute on the street for years, now she's back as the mother of her children. I just praise God. I do not know that my mommy will not die. Your mommy would have died if this auntie did not help your mommy. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. But I thank God for Jesus. I thank God for everybody. God is good. Is your life to Jesus? See Him lost. Jesus is the best things that happened to us. Hallelujah. My name is Aminat Olaniji. I am six years old. The name of my school is Queen's and King International School. I want to thank God the grace that God gave me to be here. My name is Barakat. I am eight. Your name? My name is Ainab. I am 13 years old. I thank God for the grace for being here. Yeah, this is my baby girl. And her name is... Amina Adeni Bibi. Wow. And she's one of those three. The youngest of the three that you just watched the video. Amina is such a lovely girl and I know she's one of the reasons God linked me up with her mother and the entire team of the ministry that have been committed to the curse. Amina, yes. I know you've missed mommy so much. I missed you too. 
When you had a heart cancer, how did you feel? Yeah, I feel bad. You feel bad? What do you think cancer is? When they told you, what did you think? What, what did you understand by it? Or what did they tell you? Well, they told me that they are not feeling fine. I was not happy, so I was not praying that God should save you, that you should not die. They told me that you are coming back and I was very happy. Okay. And I give God all the glory. God answered my prayer. Mm -hmm. I was happy. Wow. I'm sure God has really answered your prayer. Last week Sunday, we pray that may you live long on the head, that you be our great great grandmother. Amen. Don't worry, okay? Yes. Things happen in life, and life is a face. Yes. Okay? As you have prayed, I will not die. Amen. In fact, for you, God will keep me alive. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you have prayed, eh? I will be great grandmother, grandmother, grandmother to your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You believe it? Yes. So don't worry. So what have you learned in this ministry since you've been with us now about five years? Well, I've learned how to be good, to be truthful in life and to, to make it. Everything I have taught us is good, kind, truthful, honest. I pray that may God bless you more in the name of Jesus. Amen. How do you feel about not seeing your mommy? Well, I feel bad. But I give God all the glory. I pray for her that God will send it back to her in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is well. Love you, okay? Thank you. So be well with you. I miss you. And I'll still miss you. Come on, we'll do what they're doing. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Baby! Take care, yeah? We'll talk again later. We ask you to partner with us here at Papa Missions for the continuity of all these good works. God, God bless, bless you. Papa Missions our, our passion. passion. No, my passion. No, my passion. No, it's my passion. No, it's my passion. My passion. No, it's my passion. Hello. Baba missions are passion. Thanks be to God. Like I always say to you children, whether I live or I die, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. Death and life are the same to children of God. Is that correct? Yes. yes. And you agree with me? Yes. yes. That's the belief. That's the faith. And that's what's been keeping us. The issue is that you continue on the path of his righteousness that you have known. Amen. 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 Friends out there, I bless you for this wonderful day. Thank you for following this ministry. Thank you for following, uh, for believing in us. by her cancer status in any way. To her, being dead or alive makes no difference. Rather than break down in depression, she commits each grace day to God through active evangelism and service to humanity. <laughs> Take 
Ah oh! Ah oh! Ah oh! Sorry, I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going to be a good person. I'm not going As part of her preparation for death, she travelled to Nigeria in February 2012 to distribute her belongings to the poor and needy, who are mostly street beggars. It was during her visit that she met Kende, the woman whose story you are watching. As it was with Jesus' encounter with the demon-possessed man in the Gerizines, so likewise, beloved Apostle Bimpa's steps were guided by the Lord to grace this woman you are watching back to glorious living. Luke 8 verse 27 When Jesus stepped ashore, he was met by a demon-possessed man from the town. For a long time, this man had not worn clothes or lived in a house, but had lived in the tombs. It was on Wednesday, the 15th of February, 2012, in Ibadan, Nigeria, that beloved Apostle Bimpa was driving to her scheduled event when she witnessed a demon-possessed woman on the streets. This woman was completely naked and rummaging through the bins, chewing on pieces of sugar cane. Beloved Apostle Bimpa stopped and came out of the car as she felt a deep desire to make a positive difference to this woman's life. When the woman saw beloved Apostle Bimpa, she cried out and fell at her feet, just as in the story of Jesus attending to the demon-possessed man in Luke 8. She acknowledged her, saying, My sister! My helper! My friend! Beloved Apostle Bimpa laid her hands on her and prayed for her, commanding the impure spirits to come out of her. When Beloved Apostle Bimpa asked of her name, she answered, Kehindi, and my father's name is Thunder. She felt this was not enough to make a difference. And just like the story of the Good Samaritan, she prepared to really change Gehendi's life for the better. Baba, 
Pure water, Ejo. Pure water. At the scissors. Scissors, pure water, please. Ever be Rama Fino? Well, Don't <laughs> Luke 10. So we asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. When he was attacked by robbers, they stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he travelled, came to where the man was, and when he saw him, took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbour to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, The one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. Beloved Apostle Bimper washed Kehendi and cleaned her up, and she was submissive and grateful. Her hair was cut and washed. After this, her wounds were dressed, and she was dried and given clothes and slippers to wear. Then beloved Apostle Bimpa preached to the people around, who had been witnessing the whole procedure. She reminded the audience that God commands us to love our neighbours as ourselves. We need to show grace and love to those around us, especially those in need. Lord, I lift your name on us. Lord, I lift your name on us. Sing your praises. I'm so glad you saved my life. I'm so glad you saved my life. I'm so glad you came to save me. I'm so glad you came to save me. You came, came from, from heaven, heaven to heaven to show. Your prayer. 
Beloved Apostle Bimbe is not happy to die without providing permanent accommodation for people such as Kende. These physically and mentally challenged people litter the streets of Nigeria unkept and sometimes naked. Many of them have tasted the healing touch of God and need to be adequately provided for so that their testimonies will stand. Beloved Apostle Bimpe is praying that you join hands with her and Baba Missions to realize this vision in her lifetime. We welcome hands of fellowship from you in support of our mission. Kendi, whose story you have just witnessed, is a living example of our commitment to those in need. Baba Missions is currently focusing on providing accommodation, food, clothing and medication to those in extreme need. Please help Baba Missions to accomplish the visions of evangelizing to the world. Remember, Jesus said, Whatever you do to the least one of these, you do to him. Let your money go ahead and make a difference. The Spirit of the Lord is upon my soul. I will dazzle. 